Today on Toy Domination, we're going to break down why people hate the word moist. Fox Forge fears fiduciary fraud from Finnish freeloaders and Victoria <laughs> tells her secret. Hey, what's up? I'm Dom. Hey. And oh, man, am I cutting out or is it you? It's probably me. I don't it? know. Did I cut out? Oh, you did at first. Now you're back, though. Hmm. But. Given my hmm. track record with last week, it's completely... <laughs> You're just immediately I upset. There are waves that are running on here, too. But, uh, Joe, who's uh, who's our guest we got tonight, man? Our guest this week is uh, Galactic Valor. It's Fox Forge Toys. Uh, yes. James and Victoria are here. Or Tori. Hello! <laughs> so, funny thing is, before we came on here... Victoria ran off to go do something, and we're like, James. Yeah. Uh, and he was like, Oh, Tori. We're like, Is that what we're supposed to refer to your wife as, Tori or Victoria? And he was like, Um, he goes, I don't know. know. I don't know. Either <laughs> one, you don't know. <laughs> we're just on the line. No problem. I yes. know. Either one is great. I call, I call her both. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But we okay. don't, though. You see, no. that's, yeah. that's where yeah. we're see, that's, at. Yeah. We're out that's, yeah. So, yeah. 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 Um, so, one's good. So, so we'll we'll just ask Victoria, who probably is probably better equipped to answer this question: Tori or Victoria? Which one do you want to go by? You can you can call me Tori. That's good. Okay, that's better. Right. Okay. Vicky, Vicky, it is then. Okay. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> we also can't do this. You can call me both thing. Like yeah, I need to just give me an answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to know. Um. All right. Well, cool. Well, hey. So thanks for showing up here. Um. A little bit of background tonight. Or. Tonight, first, we're going to do the news like we normally do, which really isn't news. It's just stuff it's that news -ish. we want to buy. It's news-ish, right? It's a mm -hmm. flavor of news. Yeah. Then we're going to talk about what you're here for, your Kickstarter, and then some pickups of the, of the week, right? Some toys, some what you got. But a little bit of background. I actually ran into James at Legion's Con this last November, and I ah, saw you had a booth set up yeah. there, and I saw these, and I was like, hey, by the way, <laughs> I want to talk about this on our show. So he's gracious enough to follow up that that long ago now when those Kickstarter is actually gone to, to jump on. So uh, really awesome to actually be able to follow up and have you show up here. So yeah. So all right, cool. Oh, I suppose before we go to news, we should say some hey to the folks that are jumping up here, huh? Absolutely. All right. They're slowly crawling in here. So we got Schmebilock, who has also Bjorn has gone to Sheboinkel. I so saw just, that one earlier. I didn't know what mm -hmm. that was. He's yeah. he's changing up a little bit this season, I guess, right? No, okay. Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta change it, you know, every once in a while. I gotta Task Force Figure Games. And Zazel, what's up, buddy? Hey um, Zazel. We were just talking about that your your new show timelines are like right off of when I either am not awake or getting ready to take the kids to school. So uh Lord of Thane, normally in Belgium, is actually now in Florida. <laughs> I don't know why of all states you decide to visit the state <laughs> <laughs> Florida. Um, you're going to have to be quarantined before they let you back Checking out Europe. Florida. Yep. Pirates of the Galaxy. PLM. I got it. I got it. PLM 2212. I always say Palm. Uh, my bad. And then, uh, Stephen, what's up? I hope you're not driving right now. Bob. <laughs> And Gabber, Gabber Flubbin. Okay, we're just going to keep that note. Sounds good. Cool. Right. All right. Let's pause there. Um, they're still popping in the chat here, but let's pause. And uh, I guess we should do some news. Yeah, you want to want to talk about some news? I Yeah, I kind of do. All right, cool. I can see, I can see that they weren't putting on their hats, and it just made me laugh. Oh, hi. Oh, look at those hats. <laughs> <laughs> we should have probably said we also put on the things going on. Awesome. <laughs> nice um, hat. I like your hat. Thanks. Uh, Tori, it's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I like yours as well. <laughs> uh, what do you guys want to talk about first? Dom, well, we got some okay. I didn't need animal warriors of the hat. kingdom. Your hat's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dom um, asked me to put these up, uh, and I, I'm not sure why. So maybe you can tell me, Dom. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> street oh, there you sharks. Go. Tori, you Tori, you talk about this. Yeah, street sharks. Go ahead. Yeah, they're awesome. <laughs> there you go. So they're awesome. Right, so they're, they're intimidating. This is, <laughs> I think but is it like, did you get them when you were a kid? My dad you, used to yeah. get them. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, how oh, is this He possible? loves them. When he saw them come out again, he was like, oh my god, I gotta get every single one. Yeah, these are the 30th anniversaries. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, yeah. they look all, they look fun. And also, they're only $24.99, so at that point, it's like, 
if you're even remotely yeah. into this, looks like that's a great yeah. price. Excuse me, you know? it's a shark wearing cowboy boots. There's nothing else to say yeah. here. Move on to the next one. Like, <laughs> I don't, there's nothing to question about this. Nope. <laughs> yeah, but dumb, you're not gonna buy these. So, so here's what's weird. Here's what's weird. Keep going. Keep going through these. I don't want. I don't want to spend yeah, too sure. much time on street sharks. Yeah, yeah, hammerhead. I absolutely love hammerhead. Uh, the worst camo job he's got there yeah. ever. It looks like a seagull pooped on his jeans. Um, Nonsense. It's underwater camo. <laughs> it makes complete <laughs> sense. Fooling no one. That guy's neat. All right, who's next? Uh, who Slash. And this, I think this is it. Oh, or weird. at least this is it for the first wave. So weird. Yeah. All right. Here, here's the weird thing. So I'm not a nostalgia buyer normally, right? Um, and I didn't have these as a kid. So I don't know why these are jumping out to me so strongly. I don't have a single mm. Motu Origins. I don't have any of the new TMNT stuff. None of that stuff. Yeah. I have I have not spent any money on that so I could put it into Kickstarters. But for some reason, this line, I'm just like, I need to get some I want this. I, need it. Yeah. I want a cage that's slightly bent open. Yep. <laughs> With a, a shark, shark coming out of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah wearing cowboy boots. Like, I like yeah. that's it, man. I don't know. It's a no brainer for me. He's pretty know. cool. That's my favorite. Yeah. 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 He's, actually, yeah, he's awesome. It's the opposite of a no brainer for me, actually. It's a, yeah. it's a <laughs> brainer. I don't know. Yeah. So, yep. It's I don't brainer. know. That's all I have. No, it's, it's, it's a no brainer. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, I mean, you join they look fun. I don't have any, I have zero nostalgia to this as well. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. I do have uh, the Turtles Ultimates from Super 7, so I could throw them in there as other mutants in a heartbeat. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Oh, there's, yes, there's some versatility in there. I, I don't understand. It's a weird poll, and I was like, I don't know. Like, this is, yep. So, yeah, that's all I want to talk about it, though. I'm, maybe I'm embarrassed about this purchase. I have no idea. <laughs> Even before buying it, I have buyer's regret. Again, 20, like 25 that. bucks? That's, yeah, whatever. It's a good deal. <laughs> it's not like it's anniversary edition 60 dollars street sharks and you're like no, yeah yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah i'd be like come on and they're so squat and blocky i don't know like i just love i love everything uh, about it the they, colors they've, they've got some articulation in there though they do they did the origin and the at all but you know they've got, yeah. some, yeah. so, they got some movement in there all right move on so i'm a big sure. mezco guy and this isn't Ooh. really for me yeah. but i just the colors are just awesome yeah <laughs> you know, it's wow. ridiculous and yeah. and the black the black is oh, awesome. way closer to what the character should be, but I I love this. I'm not yeah. buying this because it's so expensive. But is it? Oh yeah, it's two fifty, man. It's up there. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> they get a bunch of sharks instead of this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You get there you so go. Many sharks. You get so many sharks. Oh. But not buying yeah. Mezco Ghost Rider. Mezco. I mean, they even a a regular release would kind of run like almost a hundred or maybe sometimes mm. more, depending on what it comes with and. And it, yeah, he's got the bike, and there's light up features and all this stuff. So I mean, yeah, I, still that, 250. Yeah, that translucent that's, plastic on the flames was looking really cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's neat. yeah, and it's that's awesome. I mean, yeah. and he like he said, like he does light up and like has all that's this what cool they spent the I mean. 200 dollars on. The, yeah, it's yeah. Just, yeah. Just, one LED, just one LED, just one LED. These LEDs cost a hundred dollars a piece. I don't know. <laughs> <why>. <laughs> yeah. Everyone uh, says yeah. that the they want the cage from the street sharks. That's yeah, the cage. That's what I said. <laughs> Make a good I, I, do you know how many yeah. do you know how often playing with my children and jail comes into like <laughs> yeah. my children and jails come into play like yeah. often very put your, often. Put your yeah. kids in time we out, have like we have a little out, tiny yeah. shopping cart that i always flip over and just go like, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like they're in jail we captured them <laughs> um this is up my alley but um uh, i'm Ooh, yeah. big into the classified line yeah yeah there yeah. You go. And Night Force is awesome. And Shockwave, mm -hmm. specifically in Night Force colors, is also awesome. It's yeah, awesome. sweet. James, are you into uh, you into this line here? That's no, yeah, I really do like the um, like the GI Joe classified line. I think what yeah. they're they're doing, where it's like all the removable armor pieces and, and stuff like that, mm -hmm. is super awesome. And like they're definitely trying with like the articulation and, and stuff like that. It's, it's really it's really cool. And then, um this go oh, ahead go ahead, go ahead no. so tori i was just gonna ask like i just deferred to james for that one too but yeah. what is what is your role in seeing these toys on this screen here too do you have your own collection do you collect as well um i collect like a little bit of different i collect um vintage monopoly games actually <laughs> okay <laughs> so almost the same so thing as gi joe i got Listen, it yeah, similar, first of right? all um you collect really what you want to collect don't don't uh well, i didn't don't. judge yeah at all no. i just wanted to see no judgment where, where here. Shrubby, yeah no yeah <laughs> i mean i've kind of grown up with the my dad's a huge collector and him and james bond over that a lot so well, that's I awesome them love their figures their comics and all that stuff but yeah mm. i'm i'm into the 
the vintage Monopoly realm. So I, I don't collect. Do you any. just have a closet filled stack with yeah, Monopolies? I have, like, <laughs> I have a bunch Amazing. of them. I have like 32 from like 1930s to 1950s. So that's like. Oh, wow. That's, that's really the niche okay. thing. But yeah. And, like, and, like... and fuzzy hats. I just yeah. assume it's all and Monopoly fuzzy and fuzzy hats. hats. <laughs> that's, yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. This is just one. Yeah. Just, yeah. just the teal oh, one. Man. This yeah, is an easy grab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She has a wall of fuzzy hats. She's yeah. like, teal. Teal tonight. Over. Yeah. Um, I like this one in particular, Don, because it's not just a straight repaint. They threw into different body parts and the mm. overlays there. Not the vest. I say think, so. The rest of it. I think it's cool. But also, I learned that that's a helmet, though. That's not a head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. I love. Yeah. yeah. So that's fantastic. Um, All right. Well, I'll save AWOC for the last. This... Uh, goes way back <laughs> to me and Dom in high school. Um, my obsession with Zelda is <gasps> runs deep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and this guy just got released or for pre-order, and man, but he is so expensive. <laughs> Who makes it? It's Figma, and it's... Ah. So there's a deluxe version, which is kind of yeah. what I'm showing you, because he comes with all this extra stuff. Oh. All right, so here's the yeah. deluxe, what he comes with. Oh, wow. A bunch of mm. stuff. Regular yeah. comes with, like, the sword and shield and, like, a head, I think. Mm -hmm. so he comes with a bunch of extra stuff but like yeah. one i love breath of the wild and tears of the kingdom so two i have a deep obsession with zelda in general but awesome. this price point this is the deluxe one is 150 dollars, and i'm like oh, oh man my God. i don't know if i can justify that goodness yeah. <laughs> yeah it's really up there i like i love link and zelda so much but like man 150 bucks yeah. i don't know but that monster arm though look at yeah. that yeah and the and like the 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 colors and stuff like that on is super yeah cool. he really pop and like he comes yeah. with the really cool like uh, specific to that game like bow and arrow and you yeah. Know, yeah. And stuff and like and the rocket that attaches the shield and in that oh, game yeah. you can you can yeah. climb up through rocks and stuff so that's what that that's is sweet. there um, there's a lot of cool stuff here and there's a lot of hang gliding in this game yeah but yeah man I uh, but I don't know if I'm gonna pull the trigger on this one <laughs> yeah. It feels like you're not getting a lot for 150 dollars. I know, yeah, and like what <laughs> the the regular release, I'll know it's just a shield and, shield and uh, the sword, and right. maybe like a few other little tidbits yeah. there. But like, um, that's like 80, and you're like, that's oh, still wow. a lot. But like to just add a few accessories, and it's not well, more than a few, but a lot right. of accessories for that much of a price jump is you're doubling it. I think it's a lot. Yeah, I don't yeah. own any Figma <clears throat> figures, so I'm gonna. Assume Neither it's... do I. So that's another. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Like I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm a I'm aware that the quality is high, but right. at the same time, I don't own one, so I've never like held right. my hand and, yeah. Yeah. and know what it's like. Yeah. I mean, it's no but... Galactic Valor, but you know, it's probably <laughs> yeah. Like it, right? Close. <laughs> yeah. And then a uh, Spiro Toys put up their uh, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom Wave Two. Yeah. I did not break these down individually. So this no. is, these these two kind of go together. Apparently, that's his first mate, and that guy, the guy with yeah, the long yeah. arm, is a captain. Um, but these look great. They all do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so I mean, I, T was big. T. So my oldest son Tristan is huge in the amphibians and reptiles. So he saw the chameleon. Yeah. He's yeah. like, what? So <laughs> and, and these guys here, the lizards. Yeah, yeah these are cool. Those are great. Yeah. Um, and I've so I've got Savage Crucible coming eventually. So like I I'm hesitant to jump into these because they're very cartoony and savage mm -hmm. crucible and mythic legions like they're very more realistic but yeah. then again mm -hmm. i also have defenders of eden coming which are more cartoony so i'm like i'm all over the place man you know yeah. what i mean so yeah. like i don't know they, these yeah, big these beefy guys dude I, I think i'm gonna I'm yeah gonna the brawlers are awesome yeah, I actually like the smaller sprinter ones better. I love the oh, I love those. Million, the I'm yeah, yeah. yeah those are one so of them at all, it's the bunny, it's right? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 100 percent James, which one would you, um, James and Tori, which one would you pick out of that lineup there? Um, I mean, for for obvious reasons, we would go for the fox. Um, <laughs> um but then I mean we, they un they recently unlocked Grimes and he's he's really cool. The um the dog. Yeah, I, I, like yeah. that was a weird one, one for me. I was like, oh, yep. dog, huh? Yeah, weird. I like but I mean, it fits right in with like them. The they seem to be like wild animals in comparison yeah. to like yeah. bulldogs. So that's the only one I was like, oh, that's a weird mm. bull, but okay. Yeah. 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 And like the the comic book, like if if you've read the comic book, it it's it's really cool. Like with like the brawler figures, like I think one of the characters was one of the the one on the left, I believe. Yeah, he was originally in the. 
uh, the original line. The first wave, and now he's like an normal box size bigger yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And then same with uh, Kali Prime, where he's now, I guess, gone through the. Um, he's transformed into like this bigger, um, like. Oh, so they they storyline justified it in the comics. That's cool. Yeah, like I I think oh. that's where he's kind of going with it. Um, I think from from what I've read so far, it, it, it that's how they they as they grow up or like evolve and stuff like that. Okay. Canonical. That's awesome. And then they are one twelfth scale. Um, yeah. And yes, the one eighteenth did get them on the map. And I actually have a few of the one eighteenth figures here, but. Um, I also have a couple of the six inch ones and my, uh, we actually got them at Joe Fest and um, I got them yeah. specifically for my sons and they, re yeah. they really liked them. So yeah. yeah and um, for, I mean, for, and Dom knows this, but I play with my daughter a lot and she, she loves the Thundercats randomly. Yeah. Oh, so like cool. of all the things up on my shelves, she's like Thundercats. Yay. Yeah. And I'm like, those fit right in with that. So I got like a couple of the monkeys and it's just like, it works so well with that. It's like, Oh, another bad guy mutant. And we just right. like, they just folded right in. So, I mean, having more to get is, just a plus but yeah yeah it's, it's plus. yeah but it's just so many commitments otherwise that i'm like i can't go all in but i want all of them yeah there's a lot out yeah. there right now yeah there is yeah yeah well uh, that's that's been news that's been news that's sounds like news to me yeah that was news but yeah. i tried to make noise before it actually no hats no hats <laughs> i have <laughs> <laughs> you lost the cue on the way out too come on guys. Uh, not only really did i lost. not warn you I was, at all. I was half thinking uh, first of all not only did we not warn you uh, uh, yeah <laughs> all right so um galactic valor for, first of all first of all first of all first of all first Tori, of all. you're actually involved with development of this line is that correct yeah i help him okay. Yep. <laughs> you help them. I help <laughs> So I'm yes. I'm going to uh shame I'm taking notes to shame my wife later to be like, you don't follow my dreams. Tori oh, here wow. follows her husband. Oh, wow. So let that be an example. I'm gonna download this and force her to watch it, be like, look, this is what commitment Does looks it. like. This <laughs> is um, yeah, this is commitment. Yeah, so, I, uh, I like yeah, he comes to me with a lot of questions and ideas and things, and I'm like, Yes, no, yes, let's do it. Okay, oh, that's great. Awesome. <laughs> he's, you, oh, you're he's the, the he's the brand. But. Make him do actual pitches, like come up with like poster prints, and, like, <laughs> yeah. oh. and you need to like sit sternly, like, hmm, mm. like you need to do a full pitch meeting. I'm right. vulnerable. Yeah, good. Yeah. You, <laughs> you sit at the end of the dining room table. Make him sit on the other Bars side. Possible. Yeah, <laughs> like a yeah. business meeting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like to have a, he has to have a display and some sort of pointer. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right. yeah. Like it's kind of like when Gru is like describing how to get to the moon. With <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> um, so, so for before I actually get into this piece, what I was going to say too was we're we're bumping this up, everybody. We're going a little more not even adult PG thirteen. So I know this is going to be a shocker because Joe and I have done like this trying to like not have profanity on the show or whatever but we, we've kind of yeah, so now up. when i say damn yeah. you won't see this <gasps> I'm, still gonna, I'm still gonna blush though i'll blush inside like um now so i i didn't say we go pg-13 i'd say it's tv-14 we'll go with like one oh, more better. year up right so yeah, that means yeah. that uh yes yeah, so that means we can use tobacco or alcohol um we can have well, mild old-fashioned so no, no, see there you go we're already all right yeah. so yeah yep. and then uh we can also mine. do sexual implications like this <laughs> ah, so there's yeah you yeah see they know joe so, all, right. <laughs> all right let's actually talk about something worthy okay yes. so we pulled up the kickstarter here you guys are right oh, yeah it's pretty good you guys yeah are close you just launched this yesterday, right? I mean, it's only been, yeah. Yeah, right? it's over we launched hours. it at like near enough eight o'clock in the morning yesterday. And you haven't slept since. <laughs> you just been watching, you just been getting pretty fresh. No, it, honestly, like I, I, we, when we launched it, I was just like, all right, let's see what happens in the first day. I, you know, I look at it maybe once or twice. Cause I know if you keep refreshing, you're kind of just, yeah. Um, like yeah. it gets a bit, you know. really, that's an amazing amount of self control because I would definitely be hitting, but his, his house is that. really clean now. <laughs> it's really nice clean. Yeah. <laughs> All day. 
that, the house is super clean between those check-ins. It's like constantly like dusting, vacuuming, like running yeah. around. Like, yeah, yeah. So that's awesome. I mean, yeah. I, I can't imagine. That's but but look where you're already at. Like, this is fantastic. Yeah. 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 yeah we're super excited. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, for I mean, less than that. You know, twenty four hours ish. You know, that's yeah. that's amazing. About a day and a half, right? So. Let's uh, let's take a look at what's inside. Can we let's open this yeah. box yeah. up? I don't. I wouldn't. Oh, all right. Well. Wait, can you, you hear, can't it? hear it? Though. No, you can't oh, hear it. Okay. Not, yeah. The browser's well, not. Well, it's very loud in my ears. <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn it down. Uh, no, no, we can't hear it at all, Joe. No, I know. This is yeah. just silence. Oh, okay. <laughs> Showing the toys. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know if you're like quietly while we're listening, but like, well, no, we can't hear anything. Like, no, no, no. Oh, I that's said I'll door. turn it down in my ears so I can hear you guys talk. Because it was so like... that. That was something too that we had talked about backstage. But a lot of these photos are from Sir Dork, correct? Uh, yes, uh, we worked closely with um, yes, yeah, Sir Dork. He did the he actually did the video and all that stuff. That's that's amazing, and he already did a video uh, promoting you guys as well, right? Like, hey, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he's he's been you know like unbelievable to work with, really you know caring, and he he loves the project and yeah. and all that stuff. So he's been like an absolute privilege to work with. So that, that's it. You really don't need to promote anymore. You're done. You can just <laughs> rest easy like that. That guy's great. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and those pictures are phenomenal. I love whenever he's so I, I follow him on YouTube, even though I'm like a terrible photographer, but how he actually gets that water effects and stuff and how many right. different photos he does to get those those action scenes. So like there's a lot into those. It's really it was really cool to see him apply that art. But he's so like, oh, yeah, you just do this and it's easy. Anyone can do that. I'm like, no, sir. No, not <laughs> anyone can do that. <laughs> no, it takes a skill. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. So you can't read that, or maybe you can, but. Oh, yeah, what, we can uh, read it. Okay. Well, you don't need to read it verbatim. That would be. No, no. Much. But just so what is Galactic Valor? So it, it, it's basically kind of like um, it's it's set in like a sci fi setting. It's it's based in the Corthix system, and there's all of these. Um, different alien races on these different planets and um basically as time goes on they become more scientifically advanced and they start um going to the different planets in their in their system and they start bumping across one another and there seems to be like a bit of confrontation against one another and all that stuff so um like uh wars and disputes start to happen um but while they're like so fixated like on basically trying to conquer one another there's a larger threat that's looming in the background mm. that's obvious that needs to be taken care of because it will eventually wipe them all out and not just an, in them individually um so it comes to the point this will be all explained in the comic book so i don't want to explain too much but it's white it's white walkers right it's white walkers <laughs> no? um it, but basically it involves you know like, you know, Grishk and, and Tigron that you'll see in this Kickstarter campaign, like, you know, kind of come together, these two protagonists and, um, you know, put like their differences aside and, you know, make alliances and and fight what whatever this outside threat is and, and stuff like that. Um, so that's kind of like what um, it is. Um, so with also with Galactic Island, we also wanted to provide something kind of like a, you know, a friendly price point. Uh, we wanted to have something that was more realistic, more um, like articulated um, mm -hmm. and like had like a nice clean design, but also like that has like a lot of play to it as well. Yes. Um, like, such as like removable armor, uh, customization options, like all the heads will have the same ball joints so you can pop and swap heads and, and stuff like that. So yeah, a lot that's of awesome. Fun yes. customization options that we want to do with it. So um where we see at the top there for exclusive pricing um this will be the cheapest at any point in time that you will be able to get these figures so the standard figures will be outside of the kickstarter 32.99 and the deluxe figures tigron because he has his wired cape mm, is yeah. 37.99 so if you were to Still buy even without the even without the 30 dollars kickstarter price though those are very reasonable prices for this kind of quality you know? Yeah. So, yeah no, I mean, but yeah, jump in on the Kickstarter because that's yeah, especially if you want a lot of these figures, you just save a lot of money there. Yeah. yeah. So it was like you know, if you're a massive Tigron fan and you want to buy, you know, 
uh, two Tigrons, you're saving yeah, fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars. So yeah, oh, well, so, I'm saving money. That's what I have to tell my wife. I'm saving, it's your saving money. money. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we just listen. To everybody it. that's invested in the Kickstarter so far is doing that exact same thing. Yeah, they're yeah. saving money. Yeah. Yes, we're saving money. Um, buying it first. And then, like, you know, like, we always like to add, do little add-on incentives. So, like, based upon each reward, we're going to give complimentary sticker packs, magnets, and oh, trading yeah, cards, okay. depending oh, cool. what you choose. Um, uh, so, really, so, really quick, too. So, yes, they are 1 um, mm -hmm. And as some of our chats already pointed out, like, the... You, so we have a lot of four inch followers, right? One eighteen. Yeah. yeah. But as we said in the past too, large aliens, creatures, robots do great to blend in with one eighteenth, especially if you're sci-fi, right? So yeah, so a lot of these can work at one eighteenth scale. Exactly. Like yes. uh and, what am I go ahead, good. And then Tori wants to show something. We're also experimenting Ooh. with one eighteenth sex scale as so well. So we've done like a little oh. prototype model of Grish um and what he would look Let like. Let me blow you up. Hold on. There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is like a 3D, uh, 3D printed Grish model. There's no articulation yeah. in this, but it's this is what we're thinking for if we do successful on this line, we want to try to introduce a 118th um, a scale of That's this fantastic. line as well. There you go. I know yeah. a lot of. I mean, <laughs> I, I like Dominic. Are also, also you like, like Dominic? <laughs> I like Dominic, comma. Well, oh. like to, I mean, we buy <laughs> scale doesn't matter so much to us. We buy whatever we like, mm -hmm. but right. like there are a lot of people that just like the one eighteenth. There's a lot of people that just like one sixth or one one yeah. twelfth. Right. Um, yeah. Just yeah. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, I I like to collect both. I like the vintage collection and um, Star Wars Black series. I'm you know picking at at both. Yeah. Uh, I like you know the the, the A Walk figures. They're great. Um, so I'm like kind of in different areas of the, right. the market but um mm -hmm. yeah i know there's certain people that like certain scales which is which is awesome um but i yeah i would love to do a 118 scale line for these guys yes. because you can then make vehicles and, and stuff like yeah, that. yes yeah you can exp I, like expand your lore yeah. and like go right. i, I yeah. don't i yeah. don't want you to do that because i've already got this <laughs> one and if you do that i'm gonna be bankrupt he's like, gonna that's that's i've been waiting for like a more affordable 118th sci-fi line that's not joy toy because i love joy toy but i got some issues with their price points right especially that it's just all warhammer mostly now so like yeah if that were to happen that's it you have my bank account and that's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Take the whole yep. thing. vehicles yep. yeah exactly the whole thing. vehicles yep yeah. yeah, he just sends his paycheck to you every. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even go to it; just direct deposit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <It's> direct deposit. <laughs> we don't have any food, but we have these cool we toys. Have yeah, cool <laughs> toys. <laughs> yeah. All right, tell us about your articulation here, or what your breakdown is. It's getting yeah. worse with age, to be honest. I'm getting a little stiff in the shoulders <laughs> yeah. and like yeah. my back. <laughs> you get rid of that nasty burn your road. Yeah, yeah, it's just ah, oh, right there. So, no, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Go ahead. Um. So like with the, with the articulation, we wanted to, you know, kind of, we asked a lot of people like at Legion's Con and, and mm -hmm. prior to that, like, hey, like, what do you like in an action figure and what is like some of those necessary functions? And, you know, people, a lot of people said we want, they like pinless and, and stuff like that. I know that's kind of like where the things are kind of traveling towards. So we would like to do that because it gives the figure a lot more like of a cleaner look to it. Um and then we're doing, you know, ball jointed neck, uh, the butterfly shoulders and um, removable armor. So you can, you know, swap out colors and, and stuff like that. We also want to do it to where you could do um, like change out like the feet and have different armored feet and, and stuff like that. Um, so we, we definitely we're trying to hit all the bases. Mm. OK. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome um and then reuse parts too to help cut down on costs right Which yes is, like i mean this the swap ability is great also yeah. i really like that the frame or your basic buck here mm -hmm. it's not, let's call it not he-man you know what i mean like yeah. you went like a more slender body and it kind of like that's adds variety because like i feel like everybody just goes like huge and gigantic you know what i mean yeah. like, kind of thing. And I, 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 I sort of like the the lithe Different kind of skills. body style you've got going yeah. on here yeah, yeah that's a good yeah, that so that's funny because when I saw it at Legion Con, the protagonist one, he's not human, 
Um, and two, just as Joe said, he's not like super Buck Rogers He-Man, right? I was like, huh, this is very interesting. You chose this as your hero type. So I mean, he's got like 6% body in. fat, but you know. Well, still, well, yeah, okay. Yeah. Still. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty ripped. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Bulk season's coming up, though, so we'll see. Yes. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, so. yeah, we're just going to have a fat Mac version on this. <laughs> <second. laughs> chunky, chunky Grish. Yeah, yeah. 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 Chunky nice. Grish. Uh, and then here's size comparison. This was always helpful because like there's so many one twelfth scale, right? So I feel like that's a complete. brilliant move. Anytime there's a yeah. Kickstarter, I'm like, thank you for putting it next to the figures yes. I already have. You know, yeah. like, exactly. you know. So yeah, um, the, the, it's you know these were all you know like you know talking to people and trying to resonate with them of like what is like you know these popular lines that a lot of people have in like their collection. So that's like what we we've. we've um, you know kind of picked and then i'm a huge clone trooper fan so i had to throw in the clone from the black series in yeah <laughs> yeah so, um that was a little bit of me on that one <laughs> joe's gonna drop the link in the chat right now but you can i also just find did it i'll in the description so you yep, there you go it's in the chat and you can also find it in the description of the video so thank you yeah yeah of course um yeah wave one so like this this image here we kind of wanted to show because i know like kickstarters can get a bit complex sometimes with like how mm -hmm. you kind of show what you're offering so this mm -hmm. is basically everything that's available to you um that you can back um like right for, away um, what's up yeah like for the eighty thousand dollars that were that's the funding goal like that that's right. what you can get those five characters okay. um so like starting from the left that's the the star um the shadow stalker who's an army builder well, hold on. Let's scroll. Wait, wait. Scroll down. Scroll. We can. We'll yeah, go we'll one scroll. By one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about them individually yeah, yeah, yeah. as they come. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, they yeah. can see them. Yeah. Here he is. Look at this guy. Oh, I'm so turned on. So he, uh, he is really cool. Yeah, Victoria. it's really awesome. Uh, Victoria actually has. What's my name? <laughs> oh, yeah. What's my name? Yeah. What's my name? Here, he's making a debut. Nice. Oh wow! <laughs> so you can see it, just not. That's really awesome. Well. So. Look at that knife. So, and Nikki Nicole did your uh, paint mock-ups, correct? She did, yeah. She yeah. was, you know, she yeah. had such, you know, we kind of, I told her, like, kind of the colors we were looking for and stuff like that. And she kind of went to town on them and did an amazing job and, yeah. and stuff She's like awesome. that. We had to, like, kind of figure out, because obviously the more paint passes you do with the factory. Yeah, you're like, t tone it down. Stop making them yeah, look so, so good. Yeah, so it was like... <laughs> Let's make these happen. look like what we can actually deliver. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's exactly it. Yeah. <clears throat> That's her style. Let, let me just go a thousand percent. And yeah. Like, yeah. Whoa, yeah awesome. Maybe more like 80. <laughs> yeah. She, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I tell her all the time, and I sound like a broken record saying it to her, because I've said it to her so many times, but I was like, you, you've knocked out the... You know, they look so good, and I'm super appreciative of, you know, yeah. of how she's brought these to life. Uh, he said, "Take off the accessories, and you got to figure like basically like a large mutant that could walk around a one eighteenth uh, world." So, yeah. Let me let me oh, ask you something yeah, here too. So cool. I'm a I'm a big D and D nerd. And I'm a big game nerd here. So I want you to give me this guy's strongest stat here. All right, to kind of summarize his character, what's his strongest stat of all his stats? Yeah. So like he was brought up on the the planet um, Hydara, which is basically there's these massive beasts that walk around and they they're they're good at like trying to tame these beasts so he's more of like the he's like really good with like agility and quickness and stuff like he's not necessary even though he's ripped he's not gonna be able to you know take down that super huge beat like um yeah like enemy say per se but he might be able to hey, what's be, up? get quickly around them um, but yeah, he's just, uh, he's like the, the hunter. He's, he knows how to track. He knows how to hunt his prey. Um, that's the, I would say what defines, um, Grishk and his attributes. Cool. Agile Ranger class. Got it. Yep. There you go. <laughs> What's up, Aaron? How you doing, buddy? Tigron, I, I think appeals to me the most, but I love cloth goods. So yeah, I, I'm I'm a huge fan of not having a giant piece of flappy plastic on the back of my toys. That have tapes. Looks like yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the idea with this, right? Oh wait, <laughs> hold on. We got to start over. Starboy just showed up. We got to rewind oh, yeah. all, right. yeah. all the way back. Back to the news. Get you back, guys. <laughs> all right, sorry. All right, yeah. Let's go yeah, back right. up. Back up. Um, <laughs> that's, yeah. that's what, so Joe. This one rings out to you, huh? I mean, you know, I'm a sucker for cloth coats, but I mean, okay. uh, yeah, he just looks great. He's it, there's a little bit of a predator predator vibe going on there with the yeah. head. 
Yeah, yeah then, it was kind of yeah. like um, a lot of inspiration here. Tori has the. Um, the oh, uh, oh, I got you. You got you? Oh, you got it. I got it. Yep. So he he's like the 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 guy in like in charge of his his tribe. Um, they're very the the um the his species the is escaping my mind, but basically his species is um oh the Navrock. Yeah. So they're um predominantly very war driven species and we kinda wanted to show that through like this sculpt so there's like a bit of for his head sculpt we got like a bit of spider in there a bit of yeah. um like mutant a bit of like orc and stuff like that so yeah he was super Making fun awesome. to make and then we've always wanted we've always liked you know soft goods and, and stuff like that so we've added you know we worked with cj um and, and his wife That's who, right they who does soft goods for the four horsemen um yeah I love the split down the middle. I love the print on the back. That's amazing. Yeah, like, that's so not like just that. like that's just not just simple stuff. Like that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, it adds yeah. the detail yeah. that we want. Adds the detail. And and the chain connecting it even like that's not you don't have it just like let's let's make a hole for the head. You know, right. like, yeah, you, yeah. You went it has an extra chain. mile there. Yeah, no, it's and it has like the wiring in there so you can get those cool pose shots for like the like the toy the photographer. Oh, and, like, cool. Stuff like that. Very so cool. like that'll be awesome. Uh, what's up, Making Hicks? Uh, so here, wait, wait, hold on. So I, um, no, I'm backing up. Sorry. I remember distinctly at Legion's Con, like my boys were there, and my oldest pointed out the spider eyes, like, look, spider eyes, like, oh, that's cool. And I remember you're asking feedback for everybody, which is really cool. I was like, hey, I, I don't want Lizard Man Ming the Conqueror. Like, I mean, <laughs> like, I don't, I'm not into the big cape bad guy thing. Like, that was just me. But it seems to be a, a fan favorite too. So correct me in the chat if I'm, I think I'm way off this from the mark from everybody else. So it's probably better. You didn't listen to me, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, yep. the cloth good looks really, really cool. And Do I you guys have his comments the, like written down somewhere that you can just throw in the trash or. <laughs> <laughs> I did yeah. take all the notes. I have. A yeah. You just didn't take. All right. That's better. You just yeah, didn't yeah. take the notes. <laughs> like, yeah. uh -huh, I mean, why, we're why listening keep something to you're just going to throw away, you know, I did have it. <laughs> <laughs> just because you're tall doesn't mean you're right uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right wait, wait, wait 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 go back what's oh, that guy's gosh, base stat? what's his big stat what, what's his oh yeah yeah sorry here? yeah he's he's you know he's they're the the navrock are like super you know war driven they're they're all about conquering and, and uh -huh. stuff like that um so he's he's very um tactical thinking he knows how to, mm -hmm. to work the battlefield but he also uses that super powerful like cyber axe, so he's able to, you know, put up a good fight against any foe that stands in his way. Yeah, yeah. I would say like brute slash ta uh, tactician. Okay, so like a okay. strong wisdom guy going on yeah. there. So, okay, I I always like to get the like pull for because you know you can just see figures in a lineup and you can infer behind them too. But sometimes there's like the personality trait jumps out too. Like right. not mm -hmm. like sure he doesn't need carbs, but he's also very agile, right? So, yeah. Like, you know, yeah. Like, hey, what's up, Retro Princess? I like that. Hey, Retro Princess. Okay, now we can get to this guy who I definitely am getting um, more yeah. than one of. <laughs> more than more than one of. More than one. Yeah. <laughs> So this is um, the the Shadow Stalker. Um, he's an army builder character. He comes from the same species as uh, Grish. I hear uh, Tori has the, um, the oh. character up. So he has like a translucent visor. So Sorry. what we want to accomplish with oh, this oh, very is, cool. is to like where you can kind of see that alien head behind the visor. Yes. Yeah. Do you have any of the cosmic So it's legions? not a removable helmet though. It's just like... It's you can see be... through you can see through to the face sculpt underneath right? yes yeah right. I do that. Mm. okay do you have any of the cosmic legions figures uh yes i have a, a few uh mm. downstairs in my office so they yeah, did gonna, the... i've only got a few as well so they did that visor don't, don't where the, feel the ashamed. plate comes off in the center right like it you mm -hmm. can pull it i i actually don't like that feature because my boys and I play with them and it's constantly popping off for having to stop. Mm. So I actually like the fact that you just went secured and you can just see through it. And like, I'm good with that. That extra yeah. feature did not help at all. So mm -hmm. I, I like that that's secured on there. So yeah, sometimes simpler is, is better. You know what I mean? I completely agree. Mm. Uh, the, the, so far, it looks like most of these accessories kind of for, on that note can 
be put onto the figure. You know, like you're holding yeah. the smaller weapons. Mm -hmm. He he's holding the big weapon in his hands. Um, having a bunch of stuff floating around, like it ends up just getting lost or you know shuffled into a box, and then you yeah. don't pull it out every time. You know, kind of thing. And um, I do notice that every character is coming with a slew of hands. <laughs> yeah. So I was going to say, he might not be able to hold all the hands on his body. But, um, oh, no. no. <laughs> but, but you're going to have, gonna have a bucket full of hands if you yeah. get maybe that, these maybe, figures. Maybe that could be an add-on accessory, like a bucket. So you could put just a bucket to put the, the hand. It's just yeah. a hand bucket. Yeah. 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 Just labeled me. Some free stickers and a hand bucket. Yeah. yeah. I like uh, Savage yeah. Crucible actually did like an extra pack for even more hands too which i thought was smart because if i army build i don't end up with 15 hands 15 of hands, right? like hands. Going, <laughs> yeah. and they did all sorts i think they did like a rock one. they did like a, a flicking off and like no one's done jazz hands yet and i i, yeah, I just feel where, that's missing this? yeah where is this that's missing from the action with but specifically whatever their alien hands look like they need to have white gloves yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like mickey mouse <laughs> exactly <laughs> This, this guy's super fun. Um, I think that the protagonist and this guy are my two favorite. Like, I, I, I love, I love the skin tone in this one as well. It's yeah, this is great. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. really cool. What, so this is a trooper. This is a goon. Uh, yeah. But what, uh, what's his stat here? I know he's just a, a throwaway fodder trooper, but yeah. So like the, the this character is is all about um, like stealth and. Um, oh. basically using the the weapons provided to take out um, like high profile targets or take down say um, big uh, beasts that they're coming across on their planet so you would give him which which does he got the stealth so yeah stealth and okay. reconnaissance right. so yeah they can it's another, they, wisdom. Yeah. It's another wisdom it's another wisdom one going 20 uh going 5e that's wisdom um, and no, and Bob, huge, huge. By the way, everyone who's uh, free on Sunday night, Bob and Outer Multiverse are doing another Eagle Force deep dive, so be sure to check that out. So, Bob, go ahead and drop in the chat your time when you're doing that. So, um, no, no, I'm definitely not sleeping on goons. Don't get me wrong. What I meant was usually the goons are the fodder characters for the hero to not. Oh, down, Don doesn't right? sleep on goons. That's what he gets. No, that's and like my go to. The show. <laughs> yeah, go to is go to is the go goons. Those joy toy army builders have broken me these last couple months. So, okay, cool. Oh yeah, this guy mustard. Oh, I love this guy. So this is um, the Star Colonel Star mustard. Colonel Commando. Mustard. So he, this one, he's. These guys are like, you know, best of the best of the Navrock. They're handpicked by Tigron himself. Um, it, it's an army builder character, and he'll come with um, like a new accessory, the pulse rifle. Um, so it's it's going to be, this is uh, one of my favorite ones of the line. Like the best I love that the pointing line. finger. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yep. One of the little hands. Calling the shots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, a, he's got a good paint scheme on him. This one, he kind of pops. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that definitely fits in with, I mean, just the olive drab, like, you can immediately right. be like, uh, this is an army trooper, you know, like, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so, he fits that role with that paint. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's really cool. All right. What's this guy's uh, highest stat here? What's he got? What's he pulling in here? So these guys are like, um, yeah, best of the best. They're hand picked by, by Tigron himself. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, if Tigron needs the, the job done, he'll go out and, He'll send these Starshot Commandos to get it done. Yeah. So, so what, are you, what are you going? Dominance on the battlefield, I would say. All right, I'll go with intelligence then. Right. <laughs> so some tactical insight. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Yeah. Again, all all relatively athletic profiled dudes here, uh, which I again I, I've got my Space Marines. I don't need any more big bulky dudes running around. I got my beefy boys. You know. So there you go. I mm -hmm. like this balance here. <laughs> Okay. Again, I like the like the more lithe body, like the mm -hmm. less so, uh, like you know, it's it's fun. Yeah, you're not flooding the market with a yet another He-Man size dude. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know what I mean? This was this was another one that uh, my I feel like my sound advice was ignored on. But go ahead and explain the <laughs> how you came to this figure. And uh, so th this was you love stormtroopers, so the white armor, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, much yeah, yeah. to Star so, Wars. It, this was kind of. Um, fun. We we always like engaging with the community and mm -hmm. you know trying to take as much feedback as we possibly can. 
Um, so with this one, um, Tori and I were like thinking of ideas and we're like, oh, how let's let's have the community pick a figure. So we basically I love the head sculpt. Yes. Yeah, it's fun. So we basically did it to where the community got to choose what alien they wanted. And then I think there was like, what, four options? Yeah, four mm -hmm. options for yeah. the head, I think, right? And yep. the body and stuff. And then we did uh, four different uh, colors once yep. the sculpt was picked. Hmm. So this is gotcha. What, this is what everyone so this wanted. Is, this is what everyone wanted from the votes. We had like- Not everyone. Three, not everyone. <laughs> not, <laughs> not everyone. Do you vote for Dom? I, had, I can't remember, but he was cooler had, than that. Uh, <laughs> like two or two fifty votes yeah. on each yeah. one, which was it was. That's awesome. Turnout. It was yeah. it was really cool to engage. That's yeah, good I interaction. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that that's good fun. responses. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what's up, Toybox Multiverse? Um, so you know what the head reminds me of too is this is going to be a deep reach is titan ae there were several aliens on the crew oh and, man that is yeah, a yeah. Deep reach. It, was, it was the guy who was the traitor with the ship captain yeah no one saw that movie when it of. came out dom except yeah, for in the me. theaters and yeah, maybe like great. a few other people it, <laughs> my, so my boys loved it it still holds up it has a lot of 90s camp to it actually oh, Rad there's, talks there's show, some good but, stuff in that yeah. oh it's so good still yeah. uh, don bluth film but anyways yeah. he reminds me of that alien from the ship who betrayed the rest of the crew so yeah, um, I, I actually just found I was cleaning out like um, a closet and I and I found that DVD set of that film and I was like, no way, I gotta go watch this at some point. I'm only laughing um, because what was I'm just what was in about... that closet? Like several several hundred mon Monopoly sets or <laughs> <laughs> just the thimbles no, and top like hats. Thirty two. All right, so <laughs> just thirty two, <laughs> and then at the very bottom of those one one DVD of Titan A. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Malop Monopoly edition DVD. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Pirate says that it's rare he likes every figure he sees, but so far, dot dot dot. And ellipses can only mean good things. That's what um, I'm saying, man. Like your your opening salvo here with this first five figures is like it's pretty solid. You know, yeah, like it, you're yeah. you're not wasting time with like yeah. you're just like they're diverse, but they're all kind of on the same buck. But at the same time, like you've shown a breadth of yeah. like yeah world building that you would that you can get out of these like five figures that is pretty impressive he's yeah. really good with creating the world in which yeah. he likes like like describing them giving them the characters and stuff so i think to a lot of people they want to see like the lore and all that mm -hmm. connected so, so with that's it. what that's what's really appealing to me too. For one, new IP. There's no baggage yeah. with star wars behind this right so no yeah. one can be like um excuse me that well, except for the stormtrooper right? guy yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. he's, got white armor. he's, he's yeah. an imperial yeah. But also, like the the character that leaps off that is implicit when you see it, you're like, I can understand who this person is, right? right. So, like, mm -hmm. think like uh, Valverse does a great job of that. Like, there's yeah. like, especially yeah. some of their female characters, like, oh my god, like they're so just characters oozing off of them. Yeah. That yeah. sounded weirder than I meant it to. But like, <laughs> that's what's appealing to those lines, and like, this is the same thing here too. It's like you can you can feel who these characters are. So right. Really yeah, cool. and you can kind of sense what they're what they're about. Yeah. Right? Yep. They were energy based. Yes. Um, yeah. All right. And, well, well, we're getting into add ons here. Yep. So like we want, we were like thinking like, Oh, like what, what would be kind of cool to like help that, that the figures pop out like on the yeah. battlefield or on the shelf. And we're like, Oh, like, you know, like I feel like golden accessories would be pretty fun. And like, I always remembered like in like the call of duty days, like people running around with like the golden guns and stuff like that. Like I always thought yeah. that was uh like pretty cool so i was oh let's, let's do that and then i know um like some Fortnite. of the other lines like i think valiverse has a did a golden gun accessory oh really pack. oh cool so that's kind of the idea that we got behind that one this is really okay. fun yeah but you could also so if you're army building a bunch of figures though you could get one of these accessory packs and like what? one of them is more important than the other you what? know like that kind of thing yep. that's yeah that's great exactly. yeah or one, one of them hit. did well in the lottery or something like that. Yeah, one of them one of them was just like, oh, you guys you guys didn't get it on Bitcoin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. All right, comic book. Okay. Yeah. Now you're speaking my language. So the yeah, the, the the funding goal will include the the first issue of the comic book so everyone can kind of dive into like what Galactic Valor is about and like all the characters and what they're up to and and stuff like that. So I, I added that on, but I didn't pay attention because I was just like, yep. And it was like, I just didn't even think about it. I was like, yes. <laughs> did, who who did the art for it, though? Oh, we there was um 
I have a, an artist over in uh, Belgium that that's like super talented with like Photoshop work and, and stuff that's like awesome. that. So he's been a pleasure to work with. Oh, that's great. That's exciting, man. T-shirts. T-shirt. Yep. Stretch goals. This is what's uh, interesting. Most people, because let's be honest, under 24 hours at, you know, what, what are you at? 24 ish? Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Of 80? Yeah. Like. Let's put it this way. We're pro you're probably gonna if you're back in this Kickstarter people, you're probably gonna get a, a few of these stretch goals <laughs> by the time this is over. Yeah. Yeah, hey, fingers crossed. Yeah. But I mean, like, you know, like it's so being positive. It's, yeah. Yeah, let's be positive. <laughs> Got some good stuff. So this is this is just a blank, right? So like the kind of like the McFarland's artist types, is that correct? Yeah. So like yeah. I've I I mean like I've um like met people throughout my career that i've seen that have done like a bunch of like action figure customizing and, yeah. and stuff like that and i know yeah mcfarland toys has done a bunch of artist proof things where it's like hey here's a blank slate paint it however you want so mm -hmm. we were thinking like hey let's you know let's do it to where we provide um, hey what's up man oh hey trevor how you doing <laughs> um let's provide like a the, like the alien but he comes with like all the like the, some armor sets and the different heads yeah. so you can make and paint whatever you want um and then yeah it comes with a variety of hands and and all that stuff so that's kind of like yeah because we, we like we would love to see like what people come up with and and all that stuff that's interesting and you've got a question here real quick from bob uh will there be a trade paperback coming out later or is it just single issues um we would i mean we would do single issues to start with but and like if we were to get further down the line we would yeah. then obviously combine all of them together mm -hmm. just wait, wait for the kickstarter for the 118th it'll be, a, <laughs> it'll be a trade paperback of the first six issues there you go oh issue two one there's one issue number two yep, yep yeah yep issue two how many issues you guys have planned? Although, or or don't just say Joe. I'll answer that as you scroll down. I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, like it. Like I mean, we have the story like all fleshed out. It's mm -hmm. then kind of just basically going through that story and then you know deciding where we want to what each image pane is going to be. Mm, um, yeah, but I could easily see it going on over you know six issues easily. Okay. Oh. Man, that's thank a, you. That's uh, a fantastic start. Steven, make sure you guys hit Oh, smack. thank you, Steven. It. Thanks, Steven. We got <laughs> eight months as a member. Man, congratulations. Thanks go. for being a part of us, man. Yay. Uh, Steven's the All best. Right. Everyone knows that. And then here we go. All right. So uh, let's talk about uh, getting human beings in, in this mix. Yes. So, like, it was like, all right. So, like, there's the aliens that you're getting initially funded with. And there's obviously the mold reuse there. Um, but now we want to provide a hundred percent brand new molds across the board. So we're going to introduce humans, which is the, uh, which is Nexus. They play a massive role in the storyline for Galactic Valor. Um, basically to describe what who Nexus is, is like, they're the, um, as earth starts to evolve and stuff like that, um, humans start to go out to space. They develop, um, a, this organization called Nexus and it's basically to provide support and explore other uh, planets and galaxies and bring these um, alien races um, together with Nexus. So um, to provide support for them um, and then make Le uh, Nexus bigger and bigger. Um, and then we want to do it to where what if this were to get funded to where they had the same ball joint so you could then have alien oh, um, Nexus figures and stuff like that because that's what will happen as nexus grows bigger and bigger um so that that's who nexus are they're basically going to be like the galactic yeah police. that's awesome you talked about the head popping off like um is that arms and legs as well or what's the it would i i i think it would be like the 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 feet would be able to come off and the hands okay. and then the head uh and then like all the armor but like i the that would be um, something that I would love to do. Um, so we're not, we're not talking like He-Man Origins, where like I can just 
pop snaps away yeah, yeah, yeah. in like I, two seconds. Yeah, it's, it's more mean, like, hey, you can ha you can pop ahead. You can you know, there's a there's some versatility, but it's not like our figures just fall apart, you know, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. All right. No, yeah, it's. I think if, <laughs> with the way this story is gonna go, and like how there's gonna be these different alien races getting involved with Nexus, like it would mm -hmm. make sense to have all of these joints swappable yeah. with, to make this alien Nexus figure. Yeah, At that's very, awesome. Hands, feet, head, right? Because the rest of the body, you, you could be yeah, this, it's yeah, hands, head, feet. And that could that that alone is like, oh, they're all uniform. But that's what I can tell they're distinguishing between the different uh, races there. So hey, what's yep. up, James? Yeah, that's the cool. humans do look a little bulkier. Is that the case, or is it? Oh uh, yeah, it's like the, the armor padding yeah. that's on them and all that yeah. stuff. They're a bit more outfitted. The 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 camera adds ten pounds, Joe. I mean, of course. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah, these are fun. I love the Drudge, Judge Dread vibes. I'm getting off this. Yeah, yeah. One, all right. One fifty five. You get the yeah. the this uh, olive drab version. Yeah. Yep. That, so this that's is awesome. The, the guardian and he'll come with um, a oh, grenade launcher. Oh. And, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So different. Uh, gear. So that that other guy's rifle uh, reminds me of the Starship Troopers uh, weapon a lot there. Mm. That from the oh, movie, yeah. the design with the, yeah. So. Oh, man, these are both cool. I so I really like the the yeah. army building aspect of the Nexus troopers though, because it's mm. or the Enforcer and 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 the Guardian. But uh, yeah. th right. the helmet also, you know, the different skin tones, and then but but yes. if you just want to go straight helmet and just have a bunch of army builders, like yep. that's there, yeah. you know. Yeah, man, that's great. It's endless. The 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 idea. It's endless. <laughs> yeah. The the idea for the if one of them needs to have a teal fuzzy hat, I mean, you can do it. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, you can do it. Oh. <laughs> we should. Yeah. <laughs> just, just throw it in with the golden weapons. Yeah. yeah. Put it in. Take a fuzzy hat. Yeah, we you got know, it. Oh, we could do multi multicolor fuzzy hat packs. Yeah. <laughs> James is silently sweating like. Oh. Is like, <laughs> <laughs> Great idea. You're sitting at your table right now, well, telling you what you need to make. Yeah. yeah. Hey CJ, we need to make some fuzzy hats. <laughs> Can you say no more. <laughs> but like yeah. with the the different yeah. heads Sorry. on those on those figures, I, I was, like the idea for that was to you know obviously provide variation of the different army builders, but like mm -hmm. to also be like, hey, look, it's like here's your your grunt um yeah. nexus guardian with the helmet on but oh look here's like an officer mm -hmm. that can be leading the squad and stuff like that it's very cool yeah, yeah. Okay. those are cool and here we go this one surprised me i yeah. i was i mean look at the right. scale yes. alone <laughs> yes. this is my favorite <laughs> well yeah <duh. laughs> oh, yeah of yeah. course it is <laughs> always hmm. Tell, so go ahead, when you talked about, about hunting and and large <laughs> yeah. beasts to hunt, is this what yeah. was in your mind? Okay. So like th this is the the war mock. This is gonna be you know it's just concept art right now because it's it's like such a it's a it's the last stretch goal of the campaign. Mm -hmm. So it it's it's a it's a far reach, but who who knows if it if it gets funded, then it's gonna happen. We've got let's get to that two fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> um, but like we we done our due diligence we've been working with the factory we've gotten mo wow. like estimated costs on what molds would be in unit costs and stuff like that so we're excited about that if it happens but basically what the war mock is it's on grisk's planet hydara and it's basically this super powerful um hard to tame beast and um like grisk is one of the few people that can tame this this these types of big beasts so this warmock here has been tamed by um uh grishk and his and his tribesmen <laughs> our people and basically they've outfitted it with a massive weapon on its back and um it i would like to have it to be where <laughs> um, i'd like to have it to be where like the 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 characters can like ride on the back of the beast whether you have the the uh, um, like some sort of you know, saddle attached to that gun maybe or take yeah, the like gun off. Like, yeah 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 the where the weapon can come off and it can oh yeah yeah off, that's or yeah. The, where the weapon's on and it could be like where the guy the the aliens mounting the weapon and stuff yeah. like that yeah that's amazing 
The chat um, is very excited about this. Yeah, I mean, who wouldn't be? Yeah, yeah. I scrolled down the Kickstarter earlier and I was like, "What?" Yeah, <laughs> <I know. laughs> and Don texted me. He was like, "Hey, make sure we get this." And I was like, "Yeah, I saw it." And he's like, "What? Where is it?" You I, know, like, I didn't it's so far down. Yeah, I missed was like, it, and then I saw you on IG. I was like, "Wait, what was that?" I went back. I was like, oh, "Yes, yeah. that's crazy, dude." Yeah, these are these are awesome guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, it, it reminds me. Um. Fully fund over fund this Kickstarter. We all yeah, need yeah. this. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah, let's do it. It reminds me of uh, King Boomy's uh, from Avatar: The Last Airbender, like his big rabbit thing that comes mm -hmm. out, oh, like yeah. the Rock Kingdom. But yeah, like he's straight up, like man. So I um, need something to go against my his tank. You know, I, I've got yeah. the Joes. Had, the Joes don't have anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, famine. Seven months of member. Thanks, buddy. And yes. Um, yeah, make sure you share the Kickstarter out to everybody too. Like more important than this video, make sure you share that Kickstarter link out to everybody too. Because I want that. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, please do. Please share the Kickstarter link wherever you guys oh, are. That's going. very cool. Um, right, well. yeah, so so I, I'm I'm already in. Um a little, yeah. a, little a little deep. Uh, <laughs> uh, so but I, I like uh, I'm very excited about this. Like my my so my boys and I, we play with our toys, right? So anything that comes in this house, um, they play with it, right? So yeah. our Mythic Legions, Cosmic Legions, McFarlane's, we have um, a lot of four inch stuff over here. I'm gesturing off camera that you can't see. There's, but imagine mm -hmm. lots of four inch figures over here. And then over yeah. on this side, lots of six inch, right? Um, so we do like a lot of fantasy. We also do sci-fi and the sci-fi is slowly growing. So when I showed them this, like, oh, and like, we just start bouncing ideas off. Like, we could put these guys with the Cosmic Legions. We could bring in the Marvel Legends. I'm like, yes, 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 yes. yes. So yeah. it scratches a lot of itches with us too. Um, oh, and and for us, it's not, I, I'm fortunate enough where I don't have to like pick and choose too much. Like, oh, I missed that myth, that Kickstarter because of this one, right. as long mm -hmm. as I like sample from each. But this is one of the ones that as soon as I saw it at Legions Con, I was like, that one we're saving towards and we're going to go into that one. We're so, going to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this one. Okay. Yeah, so very glad. I'm very glad you had the courage to be able to kick this off, too, because I know that, you know, it's, it's personal capital. It's blood, sweat and tears. You know, it's like risk of yeah. fear. Like, you know, it's all that stuff like, you know, not hitting the refresh button every five seconds. So yeah. I'm so glad you took this jump. But I, I honestly like I'm pretty sure this one's going to get its legs underneath it. Right. Like, I mean, yeah. this is cool. It so, seems cool. like it's inevitable, but I mean, like, yeah, let's not. Just yeah, speak we start keep sharing and yeah. keep backing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, keep sharing, keep backing this guy. I mean, well, I mean, they're they're clearly worthwhile figures, and they're yeah. you've got such amazing stretch goals along the way. Like that's so. Like, hopefully, this punches way past the eighty thousand mark, mm -hmm. and you guys yeah. get to start fulfilling some of these other goals. I mean, yeah. even if it just got to like Nexus uh, enforcers yeah. and stuff like that, that would be amazing. Because yeah. get the first round. throwing some humans in there, that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> um, man, I really love what you guys have uh, created here. Yeah, yeah so, thank, thank you. you so much. Really thank fantastic. You. Should we uh, should we talk about some toys we've gotten? What you got? Should we, we want to talk about uh, what, what you got over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. some pickups. Yeah, uh, all right. So what, what you got? Over there? What you got? What you got over there, dumb? Um. Actually, you know what? Uh, what James? Tori, yeah. What do you guys got over there? Yeah. So Tori's just gonna go grab one of her things that oh, she enjoys no collecting. Pegasus. But in oh, in nice. terms of recent pickups for me, I love the app, the um, the translucency on this. Oh so, yeah, yeah. yeah. So cool. Uh, and then like the the build a figure, the void looks uh, mm -hmm. sweet. Um, oh, so that was the reason why I picked that one up. And then I'm a massive Warhammer fan. So like I had to get the McFarlane Terminator. Yes. Yes. Nice. Okay. Oh, it's, it, and it's just like it, I put it up against like what like a Black Series like Star Wars mm -hmm. figure, and I'm like, <laughs> and you're Whoa. just like, and mm -hmm. they, yeah. we need we need seventeen more troopers. <laughs> no. okay, he needs seventeen uh, more troopers. Yeah. Will you two be at Joe Fest in June? Um, we. <laughs> I, w I mean, like, I would, <laughs> I think it would depend how the the Kickstarter goes, because okay. if if we get funded, then we have, you know, updates to then obviously share with people as we progress. Um, if we don't, then we would maybe have to go mm -hmm. back to the drawing board of like how mm. we, can, you know, get it funded. So it kind of depends on like how the Kickstarter will go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's fair. Well, um, so you're on your way. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. That so I got that Terminator, and I don't know if you have any of the other Space Marines too, but it it's hollow. It feels yeah, like it was, 
It was like, it's like, there's like three different plastics on it. I think. Yeah, it's weird. Mm-hmm. And mine broke and I was really upset. Oh, no. mm-hmm. Yeah, I twisted an arm and that hollowness, it just came. Oh, Luckily, it was easy man. to super glue it back together. But I was really frustrated because they raised the price on those too for their, even their bigger figures. Yeah. And it was hollow. I was expecting that to like, you know, warm up before I picked it up. But I was like, what the, I, I don't know. It, it kind of bothered me a little I, bit. Yeah. I, I had the same, the same thought. I was like, oh, wow. Like thinking that it was going to have like really mm-hmm. good weight to it. Like, no. with, like the other yeah. Space Marine figures. I was like, oh yeah. It's like this chintzier like <laughs> plastic. And then no. like this like soft plastic for the belt. And then a hard. James, don't let Dom influence your decision. <laughs> the man's speaking, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's still really cool. I still love that thing. Like it's awesome. Like yeah. Uh, but uh, but yeah. Actually, I don't know where mine is. I'm looking around for him. He's creeping around somewhere. Uh, all it's right. A, it's on the back of that shelf over there with all the other. This side. The, oh, yeah. 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 Uh, all right, Joe. What else? I'm gonna keep doing jazz hands. Joe, what do you got this week? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. 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 Now. Um. Mm-hmm. I got Ooh. glow. <laughs> At Ross for like three dollars. I was about to say, he's like, not, that's an old. He's, uh, he's no, but that's he's cool. Three bucks. I mean, yeah, he's very cool. I mean, for four dollars, yes, he's awesome. I also, I, I, I missed him early on, oh, so yeah. I grab, I grab a lot of the Masterverse after the fact. I'm like, ah, uh, okay, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> I think. Wait, I know, I know what you're setting up here. You, you're gonna push him out of the way, and you're gonna, yeah, I yeah, know. it's just Pinocchio. <laughs> it's gonna be Pinocchio. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> I know. yeah. No, no. Wait, should I do that? No, no, no. I got Nightcrawler. Ooh. Hey. Oh, cool. And this I love to death because mm-hmm. uh, he's my favorite X Man. Um, but so yeah, Nightcrawler was like so I had the old Toy Biz one. I did. I'm a big Excalibur fan from the '80s. Yep. Um, so like the Alan Davis run, but like x men ninety seven started hitting, and I was like, I need a new Nightcrawler because yeah. I had the old Toy Biz one. I missed the one in between, you know, like the the decent one that came out with Marvel. He, Legends he went super fast. He was gone. yeah, he went he super bad. fast, and then I, I looked at him on the second market, and I was like, fifty dollars? No, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so this is great. I'm I'm a huge fan of Nightcrawler with the dark shadows on his face. Like I know a lot of people are like, I hate those head sculpts, and I'm like, that's perfect. That's Nightcrawler to me, you know. Mm-hmm. So like, so again, going back to Alan Davis's artwork, like this is perfect Nightcrawler face for me. Yeah, it looks but yeah, I just wanted an updated Nightcrawler, and this one's amazing, and I'm really satisfied. I like it. A lot. The, was this retro or animated? I don't remember what. This is the animated X Men ninety seven. Okay, yeah, all right, yeah. So yeah. like that. That being said, there's no cell shading or anything going. Crazy. Yeah, the Nightcrawler's yeah. costume is pretty flawless. Basically, whenever they make a toy of him, so you know that one worked yeah. out. But yeah, yeah grab Nightcrawler. Cool, really happy to throw him in with my Excalibur. I'm waiting on uh, Rachel Summers, but uh, I guess it'll be the next. To, you know 10 years from now when they finally make it <laughs> but you know yeah but it's a good it's a really solid nightcrawler figure he's, yeah. he's great he's got i mean moves all the ways you'd want nightcrawler to move you know yeah just it's a bendy tail it's not like oh, wired or anything no. but no, it does cool. move it does move that's under cool. your you yeah. know, influence kind of thing and then it <laughs> mostly just swivels around yeah. <laughs> okay but you know it's it's good it's a good nightcrawler um yeah, one of my favorite X Men ever, and you know, that's no brainer down there. Okay. No, no brainer. Did you? Did you? Uh, do you got anything else to show? I got two more things. All right. I got this little. Uh, I got this here. Blow me, blow me up here, so I can use both my hands. Sure. I, I, again, I I just didn't set up my other camera this time, but I got this little fun little little vending machine robot guy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's really cool. It's from uh, uh, Bert over at uh, Aegis Station. He makes all these fun, actually, but the boys, um, he makes these other little fun. Oh, my. <laughs> well, that's. Oh, uh, guys, when Dom says the boys, he's referring to his two children. The boys. <laughs> <laughs> fun the boys. little slime. Not not the hit them. show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they're uh, they're really cool. So he makes these all these little 3D printed things. And I was like, man, those are cool. But he made this little vending bot bot thing. I was like, dude, I gotta I gotta get on that. Yeah, so I got this. That, was, that awesome. was really fun. And then I made a trade recently. This is only representative. And this is a big old 3D printed six inch scale. <laughs> There's the oh, slime cool. guy in my voice. So then they um, I made a trade with Rad Galaxy for some Star Wars figures. Like, dude, I got all these Star Wars guys. Like, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this man. So he's like, I'll I'll trade you and print off a bunch of stuff. So I. 
I went on. I was like, hey, oh, can you print cool. this, 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 this? And he, he just a whole big old box showed up. I was like, yeah. oh, man. So nice. this this represents like a ton of like cantina sets and computer stacks and rifles, like all these cool things. So this was pretty. And of course, my boys instantly was like, slime guy, bed. Yeah. I was like, okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, if you guys haven't looked, look at, he just went on, uh, got a site up now. He has a store. So Aegis Bazaar, I think it is too. Really fun. It's all clever, creative stuff. Um, and he's, he has these little pup droids. Actually, I've got one right here. Um, uh, it's really, oh, oh sorry. Let that's me right. back up. I'm going to turn on my light just a little oh, bit here. Cool. Yeah. And they've got these little eyes and this is actually like some sort of flocking. He put on there yeah, some, uh, wow. terrain moss, but he's got all these different versions where they have one giant, like marble eye or a cat yeah, eye. And I'm cool. like, I'm just mesmerized by them. And every time I show my six year old, he's like, that one, I want that one. So these are so fun. And like, they're just so imaginative too. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, there's, there's those are no, super fun. No one asked for this, right? There's no yeah. fan demand for these things, but yeah. he, he, uh, he sells them out and they're just, they're really great. So I can't. Yeah, those are awesome. yeah that's yeah, fantastic. Really fun. But, uh, but yeah, that, that's all I really got. I got, I got some, I have, some stuff coming but uh it's i don't know where it's at so i'll, I'll get a whole pile you know tomorrow right after the show i'll be like of course so next week um, yeah <laughs> to tori did yes. you run off and grab something I that did. you got so not an oh, action her... figure but here's my oldest monopoly game. <laughs> 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 this is from 1935 and it's my yep. favorite one that's amazing mr monopoly <laughs> It's pre-patent era. Oh, so he is creepy. Was... Pre-patent yeah, era. Right? Wow. Pre-patent era. That's what he looks like before he got old with the mustache. Yeah. Oh, man, that's crazy. Yeah, this is young. This is young Monopoly man. <laughs> Twenty-year-old Monopoly. Yeah. <laughs> what's the? I have to ask. What's the board like in there? Is it like a flimsy piece of paper uh, that well, <laughs> like that's... you're just like I can never does unfold it, it? Does it smell like someone's grandma? That's my. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Is it musty? <laughs> yeah. So the boards were separate in this one, but the cool part about this board is you know like the houses and the hotels are like yeah. look like houses and hotels. So in in this game because it was pre-patent the houses were circles uh, okay so this is before they just that's what my house looks like just yes. yeah my house it's is just a round cylinder, cylinder. Right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. do you guys not live in a round thanks cylinder? james yes. thanks for coming james mine, mine happens to be blue but i mean like, yeah. most of them in the neighborhood are green cylinder. and then my uh, other favorite um one it's i think mm. it's called a stranger oh, oh so this? i think there's a guy in the netherlands that makes them um oh yeah called uh flaw toys yeah so interesting I think they're, they're fully resin and they're kind of have like this like creepy little yeah dance. <laughs> 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 i got seen like, a couple of them for like, hauntingly like, adorable like yeah. have you guys ever right, read yeah. saga because i immediately thought of the tv head people i was gonna yeah. say the tv head yeah <laughs> yeah, he yeah. Like, he's little what so what is it called what's the i'm gonna i'm gonna it's go called look a up. stranger right uh but yeah. yeah the person that makes him is flaw toys f-l-a-w and then toys very cool yeah definitely there's a guy that. um tori you might like the, do, have you yeah. ever watched uh steady crafting it's the guy called the craftsman no oh i know who he is though yeah, yeah, yeah. Really he good. makes like some really weird one-offs like like he kind of produces okay. his own stuff, but they're kind of just like, I'll make a couple hundred and then they yeah. sell out, you know, kind of. Oh, but cool. like, oh, and God. but he makes weird little guys like that all the time. Oh, cool. And also his videos are just amazing. For anybody that yeah, doesn't yeah, know what yeah. I'm talking about, just watch it. It's so it's like yeah. he's like Bob Ross, but for toy making. <laughs> yeah. If that makes sense. Like it's just soothing. Like you're just like, oh, this is fascinating. Really talented, also, yeah. Yeah, really talented, really oh, high cool. production value in his videos. He's he's really great. Yeah, oh, but cool. if, check, check his stuff out because like yeah. you might that might be up your alley. He, he makes so. like random, like yeah, strange little characters and mostly like that where that don't thank you starboy that don't yeah. like uh, move you know kind of thing sometimes right. they're like mildly articulated like five point or something mm -hmm. like that but like you, so. yeah he makes some really cool like one-off toys mm -hmm. um it might yeah. be you might be something you want to check out yeah thank you it's it's right up that alley with the little yeah, tv head guy it's kind of creepy but like <laughs> ominous at the same time yeah <laughs> no. yeah yeah it's very uh, among us vibes going yeah on. yeah that's exactly it yeah, <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> All right, Joe. Let's uh, let's close this out with what else you got there. Let's uh, okay. Let's okay. Here, right? here, here, here. I've got a. Uh, I've got. Oh, nice. I got. No, nope, that's Mesco. me. <laughs> well, well, I was switching. Hey guys. Mm. There you go. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, it's Snake Eyes, but it's Mezco. So, so he costs a lot of money. <laughs> and he was he he's amazing. Oh, wow. But also at the same time, I'm going. Do I need this? <laughs> well, I mean, you ask yourself that. That's not good. Yeah, I mean, it's Snake though. Eyes, so. You know, I I had to, but at mm -hmm. the same time, I'm like, maybe I'm out on a uh, Mezco GI Joes. Oh, <laughs> uh, like for instance, Timber is amazing, and yeah, he's cool. he looks great. But is it is it better than the Timber that I got with my? Twin, I was you know? gonna say, I was Ooh, like, I thought that was not, the Hasbro one next to him. Yeah, it's not. Well, it's a yeah. little smaller. He's a little smaller. Oh, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. and also, I don't mind having multiple wolves. Like, I'll I'll have a wolf pack. Like, I'm fine. Yeah. But. Uh, but but yeah, the timber from the Joes is arguably better. Huh. You know, I mean, yeah. like not articulation wise, but like this one pops apart very easily. Like yeah. I, don't even, I barely started to move him and he's just like, Poof! and I'm like, okay, well, that's a weird one. Well, but, uh, just, all right. yeah. but I mean, Snickers <laughs> himself is fantastic. Yeah, disemboweled uh, dog. Yeah. <laughs> one, thing, one thing that was, I thought was weird. So a really cool thing with Mezco and a lot of the things that they provide is how many accessories it comes with. This one specifically came with, and I don't know how deep you guys go into GI Joe, but um, it came with the butterfly knives and like a specific nunchuck thing, you know, like the split. Oh, I'll show you here. No, no, just let me rip open these. It. Let me rip and open these. Well, I don't have it open. <laughs> so it came with this nunchuck thing. Oh, and okay. so that. That with these <laughs> knives is a very specific, like Snake Eyes yeah. version three kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. And with Mezco, one of the things that is is awesome about them is that they come with so many head sculpts. And this one did not come with like a Snake Eyes version three head sculpt. And I was like, that's such a no brainer. Like, like if you're making this a high end toy, and yeah. you're giving the express the accessories that explicitly come with like huh. a different version of Snake Eyes. It was a really weird move for them not to like just throw that head in there. Yeah. Are the knives uh, magnetic? Can they can they stick to his chest? They are not, and they don't. Oh, okay. yeah. They don't. And I'm like, why? That, why so. not? Why not just huh. do that? You know, like yeah. so. There's a, there's certain things about this that I'm like, I love it. And there's other things that I'm like, wow, you really like. Of yeah. all the things you've done, yeah, you kind of missed the mark on this one. Yeah. Like weirdly yeah. enough, you know, kind of thing. Huh. But uh, the I, the big thing for this week is this. That's you know, Joseph. That's your first buyer remorse from. Cool. Uh, oh, there you go, Mezco. <laughs> yeah, cool. yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I got the vamp came in. So there you go. Yeah, nice. And like you know, so I'm an insane person. So of course I got more than one. But yeah. um, <laughs> this thing's awesome, dude. Yeah. Like my yeah. my son was immediately who just loves cars, and I'm trying to be like, cars. what about the guy that goes in the car? You know, like, so I'm trying to slowly, <laughs> slowly be like, what about the car that, what about the turtle van? And we play with the turtles inside and not just the van, you know, kind of thing. So he loved this thing in instantly and was yeah. like, can I play with this? You know, and I was like, yes. <laughs> right. But um, yeah, but Cl I mean, Clutch himself is great. Uh, this was a little weird. I thought this was strange. The These don't really have a uh, place to go they just no no sit no on a ledge. somebody no 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 somebody posted a video on how they're supposed to go on there so i'll send that to you there's no I, way for them i to was confused i don't own one do but, they lock um, in like that no i don't know i don't own one <laughs> i don't have it well let's <laughs> analyze it no i'm kidding no <laughs> um i take it off clutch clutch is clutch is cool is, and like i clutch? said uh with the uh night force shockwave like yeah. this is now a helmet, so They're instead kind of, of standardizing being a helmet, it, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so I was like, that's standard. really awesome, and I'm a big sucker for Steel Core or Steel Brigade, or whatever you want to call it. Yep. Um. So I was like, yes, I love that helmet. Why would that's I give him his regular yeah. helmet? You know. So immediately I threw that on there. But yeah, the vamp is is very fun. I'm really glad I have more than one, but it's also. What was the know. price point for the vamp? It was a hundred. So okay. like with the figure, right, yeah, like yeah, twenty five. Yeah. So like seventy five yeah, for the yeah, car. Yeah, like yeah. that's no, not bad, you know. No, and cool. with all the things, you know. Safe space, cool. Joe. Safe space. You're okay here. Yeah, yeah. you're okay. <clears throat> I mean, a hundred for this, not not bad. Does the uh, does the front winch toe toe uh, come out? Yes, yeah. Please. I have yes, a clip. There on. you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it definitely does. Wow. So the lights come off. The winch. Yeah. Oh, that's does so its thing, cool. You know. Man, so Finn can, is such can a do sucker. All the whenever it comes to any type of cables or zip lines, <laughs> he's always finding ways to play with those. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, my man. son's favorite parts are the fact that the lights come off and the, the windshield goes down. Oh, that's cool. oh, wow. And oh, and then also the 
the hood open. So he's like, oh, we can work on the car. I'm like, gosh, darn it. Can, you, can we play with the guy that's in the car? We yeah. have, uh, this has more features than my real life car. That's <laughs> I mean, also, no, it's, it's I, I love awesome. that you said, gosh, darn it. Even though we specifically, neither of us has sworn. Like, oh, well, this in, entire in theory, show. Dom, I was still t speaking to my child. It's, so, you know, it's, that's uh, what I said. It's, it's awesome. We're, gosh, we're, we'll it. never be able to go to. Gosh, a darn it. See, <laughs> dad gummit. Um, uh, yeah awesome. really cool stuff axe comes off he's got the he's got stuff to work on his car he's got a little wrench you know like yeah, yeah. anyway because you gotta carry your awesome your adjustable wrench on you at all times oh, you just always you? have to have that on you yeah. right do you know how many times this vehicle's gonna blow up tom yeah. a lot <laughs> and the wrench you, know how you fix that a wrench. Only, well, yeah. a wrench will fix it all no, rent will fix uh, it all. Video game right? Far Cry 2, and that's exactly what you do. It would get, your vehicle gets shut up, and you run out. Yeah, everything gets blown up, it. and then he goes, yeah. Yeah. and it was done. <laughs> With a wrench. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, just got to tighten that bolt down. Yeah, that <laughs> missile, just tighten the bolt down. No Don't worry about the missile. Just tighten everything down with a with an expandable wrench. <laughs> <laughs> or a fire axe you know Those we don't good. know yeah there you go. yeah <laughs> that'll, that'll, yeah that'll maybe just awesome. chop the engine up into smaller pieces and it'll Make start the lego out. piece and then rebuild it like in the lego <laughs> there, yeah there you go yeah 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 exactly yeah that's, that's how nanotechnology works yeah weirdly um, enough nightcrawler my favorite buy <laughs> the vamp i do i mean i love the vamp, but i mean like you know that's just more i'm just a gi joe classified obsessed so like it's just like oh more hey but he's not a walking Coke machine, Joe. <laughs> no, he isn't. Yeah. No, he no, isn't. I love that. That's cool. Um, hey, I think uh, I think that wraps us up for tonight. I think uh, we covered some I mean, news. I, did we win toys for them? Did I think we win toys for this week? I'd call that a yeah. victory. Yeah, I think it's a All win. Right. So, hey, James, Tori, thanks so much for coming out here. Um, everyone who's watching this afterwards, everyone in the chat, please spread that Kickstarter link around as yeah, much please, as you can. Yeah. Yeah. I really want to get that giant monster. <laughs> 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 Really want that yeah, monster. Yeah. Can we just hit two hundred fifteen thousand yeah. dollars? Yeah, that's all we're asking. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Big ask. It's not a big deal. <laughs> um, James, it was good to see you again. And then Tori, thanks so much for coming. Thanks everybody else. Appreciate it. Hugs and kisses. That's how I'm gonna end it. Just 